church and hymns that are really my soul craving for something, anything. A rhapsody is spilled into the holy air from the lips of the piano as worship cascades the room like a thick fog. Faith children, clasping their hands in prayer, are yearning for revelations of God in every language. I am sitting in the back of the sanctuary. I haven't heard God's voice in months. I should have known that I was far from home, far from where I was supposed to be when I started fitting into places where Christ wasn't welcomed, or at least when I started entertaining habits Jesus had already delivered me from. I should have known that I was in trouble when I started wondering what was so wrong with the things God had clearly said was wrong Technicalities I'd find slipping off my tongue. I would sit down in church thinking about how much I can get away with and still feel saved because I was saved, saved for a really long time. And the dangers of not growing spiritually is that one day you wake up, dress up, go to church, clap your hands, sing songs, and forget why. I did not even realize that my fire was slowly dying, that my taste in music, TV, fashion, even relationships had suddenly changed. The soul is willing, but my flesh is weak. Sometimes I wonder if God still hears the prayers. I no longer have the strength to speak. Sometimes I open my Bible and just stare at the words because I'm too weary to read and make sense of anything. How is it that I only fall asleep when I'm trying to serenade the Spirit of God? How is it that I can go for hours without eating, but the moment I say that I'm going to fast, I starve? God, you give power to the faint, and to them that have no might, you increase their strength. So do something new, God, I'm asking. Reignite my desire or else I cannot go on. Something, please. Show me the cross, but help my soul not to become immune to the story this time. Let my mind not blur out any gory detail. Let every time I think of your blood sacrifice, the intimacy and the depth of our relationship be increased. Because when the church service ends, I still want to have you with me. I'm reminded that those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They will soar with wings as eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. God, that's the scripture I stand on and wait. It is in the scriptures I realize that you anointed me to be an eagle, not to be a victim of the storm, but to soar above the storm to use the violent winds to lift me higher, to be a beacon of hope through Christ in these times, to empower others to fly out of the mouth of hell and back into the sheltering wings of Christ. I am tired of being in the center of your church and not feeling your presence. I am tired of standing still in worship, not letting myself be moved by you because I won't surrender. But I find God. No, God finds me sitting in the back of the sanctuary, his power bringing me to my knees in repentance, his voice heavy in my ears when he tells me that there is not enough. There is more than enough space in heaven, but not enough people to fill it. My eyes are open now. Destinies are being thwarted. People are compromising or walking away from the faith, dying, believing the lies they were told, sentencing themselves to hell and not even knowing it. It is there I realize 
that I was sentencing myself to hell and I didn't even know it. But I surrender here. I made my decision to move from the tradition of church and to finally be the church. I made my decision to soar out of the mouth of sin and back, back home, back into the sheltering and majestic wings, back into the sheltering and majestic wings of Jesus Christ, because that really is home. Thank you. Find my rest in your everlasting